Hi, Doug with BlockingThePlate.com, and today's Gold Belly delivery is Lou Malnati's Pizza out of Chicago, Illinois. Now, this is my second Chicago deep dish pizza. The last one was from Bartolini's. You can find that review in this same channel uh, and take a look. My last delivery from Bartolini's was good. They were good pizzas. I did a thin crust as well as the deep dish, and the deep dish had good flavor in the sauce, had good cheese, but... I felt like the crust got a little bit dried out on that reheat. So I'm going to be interested to try Lou Malnati's here today to see if, uh, if I run into the same thing or if it's different. Now, one thing that Gold Belly doesn't want you to know and is kind of a secret, but uh, it's something to be aware of, is you'll notice this box, tasteofchicago.com, is another way to get their pizzas. Now, I ordered this pizza through Gold Belly, and, uh, you know, so far all of them have gone through Gold Belly, but... A lot of these vendors that go through Gold Belly may be available to order directly through their website or through a secondary search. So take a look, shop around, make sure you're getting that best price, whether it's Gold Belly uh, or directly from some of these vendors. But uh, what do you say we dive into this box and uh, get this started, huh? First thing you see when you open the box is this glorious Taste of Chicago catalog. So uh, you can get yourself uh, some pizza, don't mind if I do, some treats, a hot dog, an Italian beef, you know, it looks like there's some good stuff in here. There may or may not be a coupon in there. Don't tell anybody, but uh, I'm going to take a look at this later. Take the lid off here. First thing you'll notice, apple pie on the top. And I know what you're thinking is, wait, I thought this was a pizza review. Oh, don't worry. It'll be a pizza review also. But I couldn't resist this brown bag apple pie. It looked great in the pictures and three pounds. Either I am really out of shape or this thing is heavier than that because it has got some heft. In terms of pizzas, I've got myself a pepperoni pizza and a cheese pizza. Both these things are solid as a rock, so they were definitely well insulated. Good news is, is you can cook them either frozen or you can thaw them out, but uh, they actually recommend you cook from a frozen state, and uh, they are solid, so we'll be good to go. But uh, time to fire up the oven, get these in, and dive in. One of the things that's a little unique about Malnati's pizza is they actually want you to take the pizza out, wipe out the inside of the pan, then put it back. Good thing is this lid's going to make it really easy. Put that down. You can see, again, this thing is frozen solid, which is actually good for heating it up. Go ahead and use that in there. You can see it does get that condensation and stuff from being frozen, so I'm going to go ahead and wipe that out. Then I'm going to go ahead and grease this pan, toss the pizza back in, and go from there. One of the criticisms I had of Bartolini's pizza was, quite honestly, it was a little too dry. You know, you think about it, they sent it, it was a little too brown, so by the time you toss it in the oven, then it's really done. Well... Part of the good thing about deep dish pizza is that buttery crust around the outside, and if it's overcooked, you're really missing part of that experience. One of the things that I like about these Lou Malnati pizzas is right out of the bat, you can take a look and you can see that it's not overly brown around the edges. So that's something that I'm hoping will translate better when it comes time to recook it, but we'll find out. Let's fire this thing up and wait the long 40 minutes to get this thing out of the oven so we can dive in. Lou Manaldi's is officially out of the oven, both cheese and pepperoni. Grab two smaller slices to sample this up. So first impressions right off the bat is the cheese crust did get a little more crunchy, but like I talked about at the start, it was a little browner already. But the uh, crust on the pepperoni, so you can see from the back, not near as crispy, not near as brown as the uh, Bartoloni's was. So, so far this doesn't look like it's going to be nearly as kind of dry or as, as thick. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. And uh, let's dive in. Okay, first slice of cheese. There's a load of cheese on there. Uh, the sauce is pretty good. It's not quite as rich as uh, Bartoloni's. Uh, you know, the Bartoloni's sauce had a lot deeper flavor on that uh, that upper sauce there. Um, still good, but uh, not quite as rich. Uh, let's see how the uh, pepperoni holds up. Mm. 
yeah, pretty good. So general observations, it's not near as dry as the Bartolone's was. Uh, Bartolone's was uh, deeper, did have thicker sauce uh, and a richer flavor, which I appreciated. Uh, this pizza, it's pretty good. You know, the sauce is, uh, it's good, it's solid. Not quite as rich, you know, like I said, but uh, still always happy to try something new. Always happy to get a, a delivery from out of area, something I can't have here. And um, yeah, so I'll give it a thumbs up and uh, we'll go from there. In the meantime, I got an hour and a half wait on the pie until that comes out and then has to cook for like another hour. I didn't realize it was gonna be a half day adventure to have a piece of pie, but uh, if it's anything like the giant mountain it looks like, I'm hoping it's worth it. So stay tuned, dessert is coming soon. Well, soon for you, not for me. Are you ready for some dessert? I know I am. And if you're like me, you're probably wondering, well, Doug, why do they call it brown bag apple pie? And I will show you because it comes in this brown paper bag. And uh, I gotta tell you, I am really excited to get into this thing. This bag, it's just teasing me. It's just tantalizing with wondering just what is inside this bag. And wow, that thing is really tall. That's what I get for trying to do this one-handed. That thing it looks like a volcano that is ready to erupt with apple goodness. All right, a quick pause. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why you read the directions first. I'm supposed to leave the pie in the bag. Uh, the good news is I've mostly salvaged the bag, so I think it's okay. But let that be a lesson to me let that be a lesson to you. Make sure and read all of those instructions on your Gold Belly deliveries before you start cracking open everything and tearing open everything. Uh, I know you're excited. I'm excited. I couldn't wait to get into this pie and I jumped the gun a little bit, but I think we're going to be okay. And uh, this is going in the oven after dinner. So I'm still waiting on the pie and, and we'll be waiting for quite a while and wanted to show you. So that's what you call a dad fail. So this is the second time I've ordered Chicago style deep dish. And quite honestly, my kids don't like it. They're not into the sauce on top. My oldest doesn't like the chunks, neither does my youngest. So, uh, you know, they each had about a bite, maybe about a half a piece. And then, <laughs> embarrassingly enough, they had leftover dominoes from the other day because my wife did not realize we had uh, Chicago deep dish coming in the mail today. So dad fail. I probably won't order a deep dish from here on out, but. Uh, it's still good, it's still worth a shot, but keep that in mind if you're a parent of kids that don't like chunky tomato sauce. So, something to keep in mind. Next up, pie. It is officially out of the oven after two and a half hours, and I gotta tell you, this thing smells delicious. You'll notice this is why you keep it in the bag. All the drippings and everything as it's cooking definitely make things a little bit wet, which is why you use this ridged pan so you don't make a mess in the oven, but Tell you what, I'm gonna let this rest for a few minutes if I last that long because it smells really good. And I've got this half gallon of milk just waiting for it. So in what will surprise absolutely no one in this household, including the peanut gallery in the other room, is that I did not have the patience to wait. I had to cut into it right now. It's still mega hot. The bottom of the plate's hot. And I'll probably throw some ice cream on here, although normally I'm not an a la mode guy. I actually prefer my apple pie cold and out of the fridge. But this thing looked amazing. It smells terrific. And uh, the girls already said it already looks better than the pizza. I thought the pizza was good, but you know, what can you do? So uh, getting into this here. Pretty caramely. I would tell you from the drippings that whatever the recipe calls for in butter, they probably double or triple. And that's a good thing. Yeah, it's almost kind of caramelized and uh, kind of sticky, um, just in the way that, you know, you take a bite, it just kind of sticks back there, which I like. Um, the apples I generally like a little crispier, but uh, good flavor. Let's try some of the back end of the crust here. Oh, I like that too. This thing is really tasty. 
And like I mentioned, it is really buttery in all the right ways. Do I wish that the uh, apples were a little crispier? Yeah, but they still taste great. This is a really, really good pie. Um, if you told me I was gonna order pizzas from Chicago, and that as a bonus, I'd say, hey, let's order a pie too, and that the pie would be my favorite, I would have been surprised, And uh, but I would tell you, this pie is definitely, uh, definitely my favorite out of shipment, and I would probably order this pie again uh, before the pizza. So, yeah, that's good. Thanks for watching. Place your orders today.